Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm gonna show you how to boost your FPS in Tropical 6. Uh, this game is well optimized, honestly. It's not uh, the best graphic that you will see, honestly. It feels a bit like Tropical 5. But still, I will show you what you need to change inside of the config in the game. And after that, we will go in the config file. Uh, you can change a co other stuff, but it will not necessarily impact your FPS. So first of all, really make sure that window mode you're playing full screen in borderless or in window. I saw that I was losing 3 to 4 FPS. So really important, play in full screen. I'm playing full HD. If after all the changes that I will show you, you still uh, don't get your 60, you will for sure need to lower your resolution. Last resort, you can change the render resolution, you can go lower uh, like 95 or 90, but you will see that your image quality decreases a lot. So I'm not recommending to change this one, except if you're like, you're still getting, I don't know, 20 FPS and you want to play this game, you, you can lower this, but it's, this is last resort. I'm just putting VSync on, uh, it's not like a... Um, an FPS game you know, with input lag and stuff like that. It's not like just lock it at 144 Hz. But if you don't like the VSync, you can uncheck it and lock your frame rate here. But also you can lock your frame rate with your uh, driver from NVIDIA or AMD. So that's not a problem. Uh, for anti-aliasing, I'm using FXAA. Uh, you will gain 3% of FPS temporal to FX. Don't go with disable because you will see that the game looks like shit without any anti-aliasing. So just play with FXA. Shadow quality, this one will give you the, um, the biggest boost for your FPS. Ultra to low, I'm getting 10% of increase, so huge jump. Play this one at low, really important. Texture quality, I'm using Ultra. Honestly, if you have 4 gig and more on your video card of VRAM, uh, I Ultra, no problem. If you add like 3 gig, go with medium, 2 gig with low. And if you have less than 2 gig, go with very low. Model quality, you will not see a big increase here. 2 FPS for each bracket. So I'm playing this one at medium. Ambient inclusion, really important. Put this one at disable. You will gain like 5% of increase. Really important. Uh, big effect, it's like the shadow quality in this game. Really important. Sh shader quality, play at medium. You will gain 2% of FPS increase. For each bracket, I don't see a big difference between medium and high, but medium and low, you will see a kind of like a, a not a huge difference, but a, a big. It's your image quality will decrease. Water quality really important in this game too. Um, uh, I and Ultra taking a lot of resources. I don't know why, but when you're playing at medium, honestly, you gain a nice chunk of FPS, four to five percent. Uh, I don't see a lot of difference between I and Ultra in my FPS, but when I go at medium, I have a nice boost. So go with medium. Environment quality, you can go at medium, but for sure if you have like a low-end computer integrate video card on your laptop or something like that, go with low. But you will see that you will lose a lot of like detail in the environment. Uh, so I really like the medium parameter. Particle quality, this one is more like um, if you see that something happened, I don't know, uh, a fire, you see a couple, like particle moving in the game and you're getting a drop of FPS, uh, that's probably because you are you have some trouble to, to, to run it. So just lower your particle quality at low, but if you don't have any issue with it, just go with medium. At the end, uh, remove the bloom, lens flare and depth of field, you will gain 5% of increase, so a pretty nice chunk, and apply. After that, we will go in the config file. So now, in the config file, you need to go to document, my game, Tropical 6, save, config, Windows no editor. Open the game user setting. This is the file that you will see. All the parameters that you saw inside of the game are there, so you already change it. But you can change a couple of other stuff that uh, are kind of cool. So for an example, here the intro, you can write false and remove the intro when you open the game. Uh, also make sure that uh, your game use HDR display output is at false. Uh, I had a, a couple of games that I don't know why, like No Man's Sky, it was true by default. And I was losing like 20 FPS because of that. So make sure here it's at false. After that, you can read like all the different stuff that you can do, but you can change a lot of stuff that are not inside of the um, setting of the game. So uh, just change whatever you need to change the stuff that you don't like in the menu, UI and stuff like that. So that's about it, guys. If you have any questions, just come in the YouTube section. Uh, post me your rig, so CPU, GPU and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.